Especially, you know, times are tough right now. The economy's kicking everybody's butt. And it's like people want to have a good experience and escape and some joy. And, uh, and I hope that we, we bring, a, you know, a little bit of that when people come to see us. Oh, of course. I mean, that's what going to a show is all about. Like, you know, but definitely. <laughs> and take something from love as well. <laughs> if you're able to listen to the lyrics during a live set, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, the lights at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes it's not darker before <laughs> So do you guys have any pre-show rituals? Not really. I mean, this guy, he can't sit still. Kind of slightly <laughs> ADD. Paces back and forth. Like, I'm always, all the time. I, I like hate waiting around. I mean, when you're in this business, you got to sit around a lot of times and wait, wait, wait. And then it's like, okay, go. Yeah. So, yeah. it's usually just trying to keep that energy there so that when you go out on stage, you can do it. So listen, with six people in the band, you know, how do you guys yeah. pass the time on the road? Well, we've got, uh, <laughs> we've, got, we've got some real comedians uh, in the band, so, you know, and, you know, having a good disposition and humor, you're locked in the band with each other all day, 12 hours a day, you know, you don't, if you can't laugh and laugh at yourself and have everyone take the piss out of you a little bit, then you're going to have a rough time out of that. Is there such a thing as a good band? There is. Well behaved. Well behaved. <laughs> so what are your plans for after New Orleans here? Uh, we're going back to LA, then we're going to Boston, then back to LA, then to Seattle, and we're working our way down the West Coast through the string of West Coast states. Culminating in a, a very exciting show for us. We're coming back home to our hometown, LA, and we're playing a headline show at the El Rey Theater on November 17th which is a beautiful, old, one of the oldest theaters in L.A. And then uh, we got a slew of other stuff after that. And I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to the holidays. Yeah, I haven't had a year I'm off. I've been for like a week now. <laughs> yes. Uh, so are you guys always working on new material on the road? Yeah. Kind of just... You know, I mean, when you're on the road, it's not always easy, but we kind of use rehearse, uh, sound checks to work out some new songs. And when we're at, whenever we're back in L.A., we're... We're always in the studio. The studio's in my house, and it's a really chill vibe for everyone to come hang out in. And, and the through. label's always, you know, you need this. You know, you get a licensing thing. I mean, you always kind of have to keep things fresh anyway. You know? That's great for us because you get to add on to the set. You know, have fun, try all these stuff. So, what is your favorite song to play live? What is my favorite song of our set to play live? Uh, Money Grabber, which is the single, is a great song, especially because we get the crowd to go crazy on that one. I also love uh, this other track called Don't Gotta Work It Out, which is one of my favorites. 
That's the thing too, it's like we don't just play the songs verbatim as they are on the record because these guys are all so badass and everybody in the band. We really take moments to like have that like knockdown soul jam out moment where you know the, the organ player is just killing it, you know, or the saxophone is just laying down you know, the groove. That's good too, it keeps like every show different. It does, and I think people then in those moments they realize, wow, there's there's an electric, uh, an electric moment that happens a lot of times for us on stage where we can feel that energy lifting and then people can feel it. Okay. Feel that moment. So being that uh, Halloween is in like two days, as it's just for the Halloween costume for you guys, what was uh, your favorite Halloween costume for you guys? Uh, last year, me and, me and I did this cool. He was dressed as I was dressed Civil as a War. Civil War Confederate soldier. Confederate soldier, and I was like the Southern Belle. It's like big skirt, outfit, <laughs> curly, like long, locked, you know, curly wig. That was fun. That was fun. Fun. That so was actually, when aliens. we got invited yeah. to the yeah. five yeah. the annual Halloween party, we dressed up for that. It was fun. Great. Well, what is the best way to keep up to date? Uh, the best way is to either go to our website, fitsandthetantrums.com, or you can follow us on Twitter, Fits and Tantrums. And then for us, so we do all the media on there, so when you're sending a message, it's straight to us. Facebook, our fan page on Facebook is another great way to see what shows are coming up and stuff. Because it's easy to post video up there and, you know, pictures and things like that. Thank you. 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 Thank